Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a wax vendor order with you guys. I ordered from uh, Wilma's shop. She is a wax vendor that I found once again, um, kind of, you know, searching through Instagram photos and things. Um, that's what I've been kind of doing lately to find not really new wax vendors, but just like new wax vendors to me because this is a company that I've never ordered from before. So what kind of drew me to Wilma's shop, first of all, was um, she had a lot of ready to ship items. All of her scents are listed um, in, you know, on her webpage. And what I liked about it is that there was such a variety of different scents to choose from. So that was a big plus in my book. Um, also ready to ship. I mean, obviously, that's always really nice. It's like instant gratification. Um, you don't have to wait, you know, like some other companies, you have to wait like up to six weeks. And I don't know, to me, I feel like if I find a wax vendor that I really, really love, I'm willing to wait those six weeks. If I'm just new and, you know, starting out and have never ordered from a wa this wax company before, like, I don't know, it would take a lot of research for me to order from someone where you have to wait that long. Um, but anyway, that is a tip. Do your research, guys. Make sure to watch a ton of YouTube videos and things like that um, to get other people's opinions on all of these vendors because you can find yourself in a pickle sometimes. So um, I'll probably be doing a separate video on that just to kind of share different stories and different things that have happened to me and to other people. Um, in the wax community with the vendors so you guys kind of know what to look out for and what the warning signs are but anyway so I ordered um let me see I just have my little cheat sheet here I ordered this on um, May 31st again this was ready to ship um, I got the wax within a couple of days so that was awesome her shipping was great she shipped in a priority mail envelope um, my total was $26.15 if you order anything underneath $25 shipping is only $1.99 which again drew me to this company because I was like oh wow you know that's like amazing I really don't know of any other vendors that do that and if you guys do leave a comment down below um, and then also if you're order reaches over $25 shipping is free so that is like a big big plus in my book because sometimes shipping can be outrageous and these vendors do have to ship priority mail because they need proof that you got your wax because there are scammers out there that are going to say no we didn't get it um so they like putting tracking on everything which I completely understand so uh, Wilma's Wax is kind of known, I feel, for the simple little blocks, which I will show you guys in a bit. So I ordered the two ounce wax cubes, and then I also ordered some mini cups, and those are mini scent shots, and they are, I believe, point eight ounces so they're not even really an ounce yeah I was impressed with the shipping I was impressed with how fast I got everything I was impressed with how easy her website was to choose all of the different fragrances um she really doesn't have like a lot of blends per se she has a lot of just straight up you know this is what it is um you know like straight up peach or straight up lavender instead of combining a whole bunch of different fragrances together which she does have um um, a few of her fragrances are, you know, uh, blends and things. But anyway, so that is pretty much what she orders. She also does custom orders, which those are fragrances or different scents that are listed on her site, which are not available, but she does have the orders that she can make. And those, um, I believe, are 20 business days it takes to get your order. So um, just beware of that. And the ready to ship is uh, three to four business days, if I didn't mention that. And what else? Um, if you have a custom order, and which means that she doesn't have it made up yet, she has to make it for you. I believe I read something where you can pay $5 and speed up your order and have it to be almost like a ready to ship order. So that's something to check into. Again, I don't really know too much information about that. Um, but that would be something to ask if you guys are looking for that. So I just fit my order in this little Walmart box here, the Walmart beauty box here. Um, so I'll just be showing you guys everything from here. I did get one sample 
And the free sample that she sent was in this flower shape and it is cedar, vanilla, and lavender. And it looks like this. To me, the scent of this is a very, very strong cedar, which don't get me wrong, I love cedar, but the way it's mixed with the vanilla just is, I don't know, it's kind of a turnoff to me. I would definitely melt this in the winter or fall, but I just feel like both of the fragrances don't really mesh well together for me. Um, but that's just my opinion, and some other people may love it. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I may be doing a de-stash, um, like getting a de-stash together of different vendors where I didn't enjoy the fragrance and de-stashing. Um, so maybe watch out for that. If you guys are interested, leave a comment down below about that. Okay, so let me go through the scent shots first. So the, the scent shots are super tiny, like I said. They were uh, 0.8 ounces. So you could probably, if, I mean, if... If you want, you can melt the whole thing. Um, you could use it as a blender and put two together. You could also um, cut it in half as well. So this first one I got was Cherry Slush. And excuse my fingernail polish, you guys, I'm sorry. Um, and it looks like this. And this one smelled really good, although there was something a little bit synthetic about it. Um, the cherry is pretty strong, but it's not like a true kind of cherry slush there's just there's something a little bit synthetic about it um so that was that one and then I also got rosewood and I don't have the scent descriptions on file here or anything I know she lists all of them rosewood is really nice it's not too strong of a scent I'm gonna try to just like no I can't pop it out here I think these might have been poured um, not too long ago. But yeah, this is a really nice one. It's not that strong. I probably need to let it cure for a little bit. And I believe on her website, she says that things do not need to be cured, but it's like, um, if you wanna cure it, you can type of thing. Uh, this one is Cactus and Sea Salt. And this one you can really pick up on um, that cactus note. And then the sea salt is kind of an afterthought. But this one smells really good, really fresh, really clean. I feel like I have wax like up my nose now. Um, the next one is patchouli rose. I love patchouli. Some people don't like patchouli and that is okay if you don't. This one is really nice. I really like this one a lot. You definitely get that patchouli, but it's not like... um. A super super strong pungent patchouli and then the rose is just like a beautiful red rose and then we have love spell type from Victoria's Secret this is one of my favorite fragrances that I always get from every wax vendor because I love it so much and this one is nice it smells just like um, the lotion from Love Spell from Victoria's Secret. And then the last sun shot that I got was just straight up spearmint. I'm always testing different vendors' spearmints. And this one is going to be a nice blender. Now, this spearmint is not that strong of a spearmint. I've smelled different vendors with stronger spearmints um, that they have had. And a tiny bit synthetic to me. I don't know. There's just something a little bit off about it. But, I mean, it's going to be a good blender. So now let's get into um, the blocks that I ordered here. These are the two-ounce blocks. And let me start out with this one. So I did not know what this was. I had to ask um, somebody what this was. And I don't even know how to pronounce it. It is A-B-S-I-N-T-H-E. Pronounce it how you want. Um, when I asked what it was, or the description online says, just like the drink, um, whatever, like just like the drink or something. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm really not a drinker, but let's just go with this and see what it is. When I asked, somebody said that it was um, like a black licorice type of fragrance. So this is what it looks like. These are her blocks. This is the two ounce. So this is really nice because you can take one out, you can blend it, you can, you know, kind of play around with it a little bit. But when I smelled this, I mean, I do get like the tiniest little bit of black licorice, but usually black licorice is super strong. And there's something else mixed in here and I don't quite know what it is. 
Um, do I like it? No. Do I dislike it? No. It's something that I will definitely try. Um, let's see. The next one we have here is Lavender Lime. And that is what this one looks like. And let's smell this one. This one, there's, uh, there's really something off with this and I don't quite know what it is. So I get the lavender and I get the lime. I think it's, I think with this one, it's me because I'm used to like a lemon lavender and lime kind of has, I mean, obviously you guys probably know what a lime smells like, but I don't know. There's just something a tiny little bit off on this. I might just let this one cure and see what we come up with. So this next one is fuzzy orange. That's what this one looks like here. And when I first smelled this, I was kind of confused because when I think of fuzzy, I think of fizzy. I think of like soda pop. Um, so I was expecting like an orange soda and that is not what this is at all. Do you guys remember the Tootsie Pop suckers that you would get um, or like the orange suckers that you would get at the doctor's office like after you got a shot or whatever? That is exactly what this smells like. So if you guys are looking for an orange, kind of caramely, syrupy type of fragrance, this is the one for you. Um, next is Cara Cocoa Cookie. I thought that I would just try kind of like um, different categories of her wax, like the fruity, the floral, um, you know, and the foodie. And this one smells extremely synthetic to me. This one is a very synthetic vanilla mixed with a very synthetic caramel. I don't really get any cookie in here. Um, and I don't get any chocolate in here at all. Let's see. The next one is a lilac. And this one I really, really love. Um, I feel like lilac is just kind of universal. Like there's no different categories within the lilac some are stronger than others but i feel like a lilac smells like a lilac no matter where you are and this one is so good so this one i will definitely be keeping i love it and then we have this one here is the vanilla hazelnut and this one again that very generic kind of vanilla, the very generic kind of hazelnut. This one actually reminds me of like a Dollar Tree candle that you would buy. Just the, I don't know if it's the oils that she's using here or if it's the wax. I'm not real sure. Um, and then the last one I have here is Hawaiian Breeze. And that is what this one looks like. And this one has... Um, a pineapple note to it, a tiny little bit of coconut, a little bit of a creamy side to it. I don't know. I really like this one a lot. It is not really synthetic to me and it smells great. So that was my um, haul for Wilma's shop. I do have to give my opinion, I guess, at the end here. And I will probably say that I'm probably not going to be ordering from this company anymore. Um, I feel like it is a great company for someone just starting out and who wants their quick wax fix. So if you want to order from her ready to ship, if um, you know, you're not really willing to wait on shipping, if you want free shipping and if you want inexpensive, that is the place um you know, to go. I forgot to tell you prices too. These two ounce blocks are $2.75 each. And then the scent shots that are 0.8 ounces are $1.15. So I feel like they're inexpensive. Um, will I be ordering from them again? No, probably not. I feel like I have been completely spoiled with companies, you know, like the Bathing Garden and companies um, you know, like the L3 Waxy Wonders is also a really good one. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm more, 
mature, I guess, into the wax world. And these are extremely simple to me. Um, but anyway, that is my review for my order or my haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions, leave them down below. Again, this is just my opinion and other people may have, you know, um, a more positive opinion on this company. I feel like everyone has their opinion and this is just mine. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye everyone.